Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we find ourselves in Belgium. I don't know if you can see that flag behind me. But anyway, we are in Bruges. Never been here before in my life. Never been to a Belgian game before. However, I found myself in this beautiful city and I thought I should check out the football team. So there are two teams in Bruges. There's Club Bruges and there's Circular Bruges. We're seeing Club Bruges. They're playing Warragam. I've been told it's a bit of a derby. So yeah, looking forward to checking out the ground, Jan Bredel Stadium. Apparently it's getting knocked down soon as well, I've heard. So it'd be good to get this one done. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Before we get to the game though, I wanna show you this city because it's one of the nicest places I've ever been. It's absolutely beautiful. I say I love making videos like this because a lot of you probably see Club Bruges as just another Champions League team that make out the numbers, don't really do much but I can't wait to just get to the ground and see the atmosphere, see what it's like because somewhere I've wanted to come for quite a while. If I'm honest, I don't really know what to expect from Belgian football but hopefully I'm impressed. <laughs> Okay, so I found the Club Bruges bar. Looks like a good vibe in there. Pumping music, everyone's drinking. It's gonna be good inside, hopefully. Pathetic. Other than that, both sides have had chances. 
I'd say the away side have just basically taken every Bruce mistake and made it into an opportunity, but they've not managed to convert one just yet. Bruges have been playing some good football, but not really coming close. Mignolet's been saving the day so far as well. I bet a lot of you forgot about him, but he's been making some brilliant saves tonight. Hoping for a better second half because that first half wasn't the best. There we have it. The final score was Club Bruce 1, Zolte 1. I'm not going to try and pronounce the rest of the name. I'm probably going to butcher it. Um, if I was a Club Bruce fan, I would be worried. They didn't play badly, but they should be beaten sides like that. A lot of errors at the back. Mignolet had to save them a few times. Um, as for the atmosphere in there, it was brilliant. When they scored, it was electric. It is, it is normally at them sort of European grounds. I went to the San Siro back in April and it, I can't compare the atmosphere to that but it's the same sort of vibe you know and I, I really do like that about European grounds. As for the stadium it's outdated but I don't really see that as a problem. Personally I love outdated grounds they have a lot more character and uh, the club are building a new ground in the next couple of years so it's an exciting time to be a Bruce citizen because you know the two clubs here both play at that ground and they're both getting a new stadium so it's an exciting time. As for Zolte Wolligem I'm probably butchering it. Uh, their away support was decent, made a lot of noise. I was quite far away from them, so it's not like they were deafening, but I'm sure if I was in the heart of it, I would be raving about it. Once again, apologies about the lighting. Uh, but anyway, to conclude, my first thoughts on Belgian football. I have to say the fans are passionate. There's a massive drinking culture around the sport in this part of the world, which is great to see. Um, and yeah, I can imagine the, the fans being great up and down the country. Good quality of football. Um, just, just a shame Club Rouge couldn't get the result today because I think that ground would have taken off, especially if there was a last minute winner. So would I recommend a visit to Bruges for football? Yes, I would. Really good fans, nice ground, and you should do it before it gets knocked down, I think. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one where we will be in France watching Valenciennes play. A second division side, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll see you then. Goodbye.